travel lovers. So a lot of you guys have been asking us what to do and what not to do while you're visiting Port Blair. So here we've created a list for you about what you can do while you're visiting Port Blair to make your trip even more exciting and entertaining. At the end of the video, you can also view the top 10 best hotels and the top 10 best budgeted hotels in Port Blair. The first thing you can do when you visit Port Blair is visit the Mahatma Gandhi Marine National Park. This is one of the most famous things that you can do where you can experience the marine life. You can see a variety of fishes, a variety of corals and also a different variety of turtles. Visiting the Vandur Beach and the MGNP Scuba Diving Center is one of the things that you should definitely add in your to-do list when you visit Port Blair. For all those of you who are water lovers, scuba diving is one of the things that you must add on your to-do list because this experience is definitely going to be amazing. The next thing you can do when you visit Port Blair is visit the Kalapani which is the cellular jail. This is also one of the most popular tourist attractions while you're visiting Port Blair. You can take a trip around the jail blocks of the cellular jail and also make sure that you hire a guide so that you can know the history about how our freedom fighters were once imprisoned in this jail. The next thing you can do is attend the light and sound show. This is again one of the very most popular tourist attractions in Port Blair. The history of Kalapani is brought to life by narrating it in a light and sound show format which gives you a very visual and picturistic thing of how the Indian freedom fighters were once imprisoned in this jail. They usually have two shows daily so we recommend you to check the timings before you go here and the tickets cost are around 150 rupees. The next thing you can do is go on a museum tour. So now about half a day is enough for you to visit most of the museums in Port Blair. It is also one of the most interesting and popular things to do while you're visiting Port Blair. It showcases a lot of the city's tribal history, the marine life and many more. And it's also a lot of fun if you're visiting along with your family because there's a lot to learn and explore about Port Blair. The next thing you can do is visit the Ross Island. You have to take a private ferry to reach Ross Island. You, can, you will come across this old church and bakery from the colonial times which is absolutely beautiful and an experience on its own. This is also one of the most famous things that you can do while you're visiting Port Blair. The next thing you can do is the underwater walks. It is also known as ocean walking or sea walking. The best part about this thing is that you do not need to be a swimmer or maybe you don't, need even, you don't even need to know how to swim. Isn't that amazing? They take you about 15 to 20 feet below sea level and you're wearing like this huge oxygen mask which looks like a helmet from which you can see all the different type of fishes, corals and a beautiful marine life. It's definitely one in a lifetime kind of experience. The next thing what you can do is visit the Jolly Bear Island. This island is very famous for its glass bottom boats. So what you're actually doing here is just sitting in a boat and there's a glass below where you can actually see the different type of fishes, turtles, marine life, coral reefs, which is absolutely amazing and beautiful. So this thing is perfect for those of you who don't like swimming, who don't like getting into the water and you just want to still enjoy and see what the marine life actually looks like. Visiting Port Blair and this is definitely one of the things that you are definitely going to be doing is visiting the local restaurants. Port Blair is like heaven for any food lover. It's got plenty of seafood and it's got a different variety of continental cuisine, international cuisine, Chinese, Indian, you name it and you definitely have it all there. If you're a seafood lover, you should definitely try their special coconut prawn curry, which is their speciality here. We have also created a list of the top 10 best restaurants in Port Blair. Don't forget to view that in our description box down below. While you're visiting Port Blair during the day, you must also experience the nightlife in Port Blair because it's absolutely different from any other city in India. For a night out in the city, the luxury hotels offer the best kind of entertainment with live bands, music, DJ, and there's a lot of dancing and a variety of cocktails that they offer in the hotel. The Nico Bar and the Sinclair's Bayview are a must try and you must definitely visit these two places if you're in Port Blair. The last but not the least is shopping. You can definitely experience some amazing local shopping here at the Arbinder Bazaar which has a lot of local stalls in there. It is extremely famous for jewelry, t-shirts, accessories which are made out of shell which is absolutely beautiful and it is something that you may not get everywhere. They have a number of restaurants in the market as well and you can definitely enjoy a meal at one of them but do not forget to bargain while you shop here. That's it from us guys. If you've visited Port Blair and you've visited any of these places, please do share your experiences in our comment section down below. If you're looking out for a budgeted option of hotels in Port Blair, you can view the video right here. If you want the more luxurious options of hotels, view the video right here. This is Divya from Madira Travel signing off. Stay safe, keep smiling and see you next time. Bye-bye.